the Inside Out series. I'm here with dermatologist and author of The Beauty of Dirty Skin, Dr. Whitney Bow, who says it's not what you put on your face, it's what you put in your body. So this morning we're talking probiotics and protein powders to get that flawless complexion. So it's a it's a it's a very interesting way to think about it. You are what you eat, basically. Great. Most people think about probiotics in the context of gut health and digestion. But promising new studies show that they might also play a role not only in our overall health, but in the health of our skin. So the way I think about it, it's all about the balance of bacteria in our guts. So really, you wanna maintain this delicate balance because if one bug starts to overgrow and dominate, that can cause problems. Now our diet, the supplements we take, they can all affect this delicate balance. And our goal, Amy, is to boost the number and diversity of bacteria okay. and starve those bacteria that might be starting to take over. All right, so what do you look for when buying probiotics? There's right. a lot on the market. Not all probiotics are created equal. Different strains serve different purposes and some probiotics are simply more effective based on the way that they're formulated. So based on my research, based on my knowledge, there's some key elements to consider. So first has to do with diversity. So I always say the more strains, the better. I tell people to look for strains, probiotics, that contain more than 10 strains. Okay. But the other thing to keep in mind is delivery. So these probiotics, they need to survive all the way down to the small intestine, which is where they need to go to work their magic. But where do they have to stop first? They have to stop in the, in the stomach. So imagine that this beaker has our stomach gastric juices and our enzymes. Now, typical probiotics that are unprotected, they're gonna get in there, they're gonna break down, they're not gonna survive. Right they're not gonna make it to the small intestine where they need to go. So I tell patients, look for the words delayed release capsule okay. on the label. All right, that's very good. Another thing that uh, you talk about, protein powders. Protein what powders. are their advantages and, and what should we look for? Well, a lot of my patients are just not getting enough protein in their diet and you need protein for healthy skin, hair, and nails, right? Now, ideally you're getting protein from food, but if you know you're not getting enough from food, these protein powders are super convenient because you can literally just take a scoop, you throw it in a shaker bottle, you can add up, you know, add water, you can add milk, you can put it in a smoothie, shake it up, head good. out the door. The it's really easy. But see, the catch is, Amy, is that the majority of these powders are made with something called whey, W-H-E-Y. Right. It's a milk protein, and small studies have linked it with acne and inflammation okay, in the so skin. Okay, so you got to be careful what's in these proteins. I say toss the whey and go for the plant-based protein powders. Great advice. Dr. Whitney Bow, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.